To apply the same filter to multiple clips in Avid, we typically use nesting. First step is to select the clips I would like to apply the filter to. I can do that by using my segment arrow and holding down the shift key. Or I can also drag a box from left to right around the clips that I would like to select. Once the clips are selected, I can choose the filter I would like to apply. In my case, I would like to desaturate these shots. So I'm using the color effect from the image category. Now, if I were to simply double click on the color effects, this will result in a separate filter being applied to each clip individually, which is not what I would prefer in this case, because now I would need to adjust each filter separately instead of adjusting one filter for all of these clips. So I'm going to undo that and show you another way to do this. So I'm just hitting Command Z. A more efficient way of applying the color filter across these three clips would be again, I would need to first of all select the clips. I'm going to just use my segment arrow and shift click each one. This time, instead of just simply double clicking on the filter, I'm actually, I'm going to choose the color effect here. I'm going to hold down the option key as I double click. And if you keep an eye on the three clips in the timeline, as I double click, you'll notice that one filter gets applied across all three clips and the three clips show up now as just one clip in the timeline. Now the advantage to this is I can open up my effects editor by clicking on the effects mode button that will open it up and I can make one adjustment. I'm going to make this black and white by bringing down the saturation. So I've made one adjustment here. And if I were to scroll through the timeline now, you can see all three clips have been changed. Now you may ask, where are my three clips? What if I need to switch out one of the clips? For example, let's say I would needed to replace this shot with uh, a different shot. We'll use this one as an example. Well, the three clips are still there. They're just nested or contained underneath the color filter. We can simply double click on the filter and it reveals the three clips that are inside, the three original clips. I can mark it, mark the one that I want to replace, and then just make sure that my tracks are patched correctly. And I can overwrite the new clip into the timeline. And there you can see it has replaced the original clip. Now to collapse it all back down again, I can simply double click again on the color filter and we're back to our original timeline. So this is a very useful way to apply a filter to multiple clips and you have the flexibility of always being able to go in and switch out shots after you've applied your filter. This is Janet from Manhattan Edit Workshop. Thanks for listening.